being that we're part, we go back this movement to the Chartists and to the Suffragettes. Now I've been, I've been on many demonstrations, perhaps too many, and this one is different, and why you should be proud is this one is historic. And it's historic because it's not a protest. We are a claim, a claim on how we're going to be governed. That's what links us to the Chartists and links us to the suffragettes. But we have an advantage over the Chartists and over the suffragettes, which is the change we want is already starting to happen. And, and one, of the, uh, one of the good, very, very unmitigatedly good things that's coming out of this coalition government is there's going to be a freedom bill written by the Liberal Democrats. It's going to roll back the immediate dangers of the database state. It's going to secure our liberties. And partly it's doing that because of the work that was done by No to ID and also by the Convention on Modern Liberty. They knew how strong the protest was. They gave way in advance. But there can be no liberty without democracy. Now in that famous press conference, Nick said that he hoped it would be the start, the start, of a new politics. But I think that Dave wanted it to be the start of a new establishment. So let's make it the start of a new politics, and that means democracy. And so the final thing I just want to say about democracy is there's going to be a referendum. They're going to have to take how we elect our MPs to the country. So let's take the argument to the country. Let's have a purple banner, a purple banner on every street. Let's go to, when there's that referendum, Let's have purple flying on every street. And if there isn't, I want to have PR on that referendum paper. That's what we're fighting for now. And if it isn't there, the streets of Britain will be purple. And it won't be a protest. It will be a claim. And we will be saying this country belongs to us. And we're going to say no liberty without democracy. And we're going to win this one.